All right, got a brand new scam for you guys today. Holy shit. So normally the scam is to get you to come and buy something and give them the money in a way that they can't get it back. But this time it's the opposite. So I got a message saying that someone wanted to buy my MacBook Pro that I have for sale for nice and cheap on Craigslist and Marketplace. And they ask the normal questions like a normal person would, like what's the lowest you'll take, like a an idiot. That's not how you haggle, by the way. You make an offer if you want a lower price. You tell them the lower price you want and they either accept it or they don't. This whole half-ass pussy fucking you don't have a father in your life to tell you to be a man attitude about how oh i don't want to offer them more than they would take lower and then i could potentially lose out on five dollars no you're gonna lose out on the buy because you're gonna piss us off and we're not gonna sell it to you because you're wasting our fucking time trying to nickel and dime us over five fucking dollars our price is obviously the best price you could find or you wouldn't have messaged us go get the cheaper one if there's a cheaper one out there but there's not so pay the price we're asking or make an offer. Anyway, moving on. So they ask, what's the lowest you'll take? I fucking respond with, I don't lowball myself, make an offer, blah, blah, blah. And they reply with, okay, great. Not any type of real response. And then they immediately respond with, I would like to go ahead and pay you with Venmo and then my son, niece, nephew, brother, etc. will be coming to pick it up tomorrow or the next day. And then, if you know anything about Venmo, it will ask the person to verify the last four digits of the, the person you're trying to send money to or receive money from. What is their last four of their phone number that's associated to their account? That's how Venmo works every fucking time. But these idiots will respond with, hey, it's asking for the email. And you're like, uh? It's supposed to ask for the last four. But that's where they got you. Now they have their email address. What are they going to hack into your Venmo? Nope. They'll even tell you in the next message, be sure to check your spam or inbox folder for the verification email showing that I sent you payment for the full amount. And then you go and you check your spam folder and of course there's some fucking fabricated Venmo email from some fucking Venmo 61839025 at Gmail or at Yahoo, not at Venmo, you understand? So they've created a fake account that's sending you a verification email. Now I don't know if you click on that and it tries to get you to log into your Venmo account because it says verify payment. You need to verify the payment. We're holding the payment until you verify. So obviously you're going to have to click that link and then you're going to give them your Venmo information through a scam phishing website and then they're going to have your login and they could just empty your account if there's any money or any cards associated with it. But I also think that they could then say, hey, we sent you this money but we sent you too much and then they need you to send back the balance. And then because you didn't actually receive $600 at all because it's a fake email and they're saying we were only supposed to send you three, sorry, we hit the wrong number and you send this fake email $300 through Venmo, you're never getting it back. So. That's how that works. Keep your eyes peeled. I am on top of these lately. I have been getting a lot of them. The more I buy stuff online, the more I see these scams, and the more I'm gonna share them with you guys. So like if you like, subscribe if you wanna see more, and as always, you know.